Hi everyone, my name is Bülent. Today I want to talk about something that got me really excited because uh, I found something that I think is really valuable and I wanted to share it with you. So without further ado, I give you Tokographics by Motion Now before you say I don't need a graphic pack, just let me explain it here. I was always too skeptical about graphic packs, just like you, but I kind of like the idea of having things around that contributing your editing and workflow. Over the years, I tried so many of them, but none of them really worked for me because they were either too complicated or they didn't work well with the software that I use, getting laggy or uh, even crashing the computer or something. But Toko Graphics is nothing like that. It has over 2000 elements, animated typographies, backgrounds, callouts, gradients, transitions, overlays, anything that you can ask for. Besides that, it has also over 600 sound effects. And that's really impressive. And I think it has a really clean design on all the graphics. It's very easy to set up and use. Also, everything is well organized. You get just one folder and install it. As soon as you install, everything is under your control. That's worth something. And all this for only $69. I believe they've done a pretty good job. You should definitely check it out. I will leave the link in the description. I hope you like it too. Now I want to show you a couple of examples and I want to show you how to install it. Let's check it out on the computer. Alright, I'm back on the computer. When you first download the pack, you get a folder looking like this. First thing that you'll notice, there is a all preview HTML file. When you click on that, it will take you to this site where you can see all of the elements in one place and they are all categorized on the left. I think this is really convenient because when you are editing, you might need something fast and you don't want to try all of them one by one. You can just come here, see whatever suits your project. You can use that. First of all, before you install the pack, you have to read this PDF file that says read me because there is a warning here and it says don't forget to install the required font otherwise the animations won't work. Yeah, you have to download all the used fonts on these animations to make them work. All the fonts are in one archive. Download the fonts, install them. That's all you have to do before installing the actual pack. We have installer folder and we have the extra materials folder. You have all the glitch elements and all the sound effects are here. They're all under their own separate folders. So everything is really easy to find. They separated them colorful and monochrome. I mean, <laughs> that's really thoughtful. Okay, and you have all the sound effects. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So now you can just install the pack according to your computer. Uh, there are two files, one for Windows, one for Mac computers. I installed it before I shot the video. I don't have to do it right now. So let's hop on DaVinci and see a couple of examples. Under Effects tab, we have Toolbox. We click on that. Under Video Transition, you have all the Toko transitions, light transitions, camera transitions and overlays. All the other ones are under Titles. You have Toko Graphics. You will see them right here. I cannot go over all of them one by one. You're gonna have to explore. There are like thousands of stuff that you can use on your own projects. There is one really cool feature that this pack offers. For example, you have a 1080p timeline here and you are done editing your video. Let's say you want to make a vertical version of your video. Let's create a new timeline. And when you use this, it resizes the animation according to your timeline resolution. All the animations are 
fully resizable. This feature is really come in handy, especially if you are working with a different types of aspect ratios, for example, for your social medias or other platforms. Everything that you see in this pack is customizable and it's very easy to change. To make some adjustments, select your clip and come to the video section on the right side of the screen and you can edit your text, change your text, you can change the text size, tracking, you can edit all the colors, background colors, everything is up to you, it's all under your control. This is super simple and easy. So other than all these nicely created animations, Remember that there are also extra materials files. I want to show a couple of examples. There are two ways that you can use this. You can just take them manually into your media pool. But I don't like to do that every time I open a new project. So I am using DaVinci Resolve's Power Beans. Select media pool. There is this three dots here. Click on that and show power bins. Check that and then you can see your power bins right here. I already created my files and everything is under their own separate folder. Just like the original one. So for example, you want to make a transition between two clips. You can just choose your effect and drag and drop. Go to video, change its composite mode to screen and it's all ready. Yeah. You can play with it all you like because there are really different types of which overlays right here. Also, I want to show you another type of transitions. You can use all these different type of transitions. Use the sound effects with it. So there is one last thing that I would like to talk about. Some of the elements are customizable inside the Fusion. But don't be scared if you didn't use Fusion before because that's also really easy to customize. Hop on the Fusion page. If you don't know Fusion, it looks kind of complicated, but actually it isn't. You see this Toko typography node right here and media out. Double click, you will see your placeholders for all these three spaces right here. You can just drag and drop your media and click OK. It changes. And after that, your animation is ready. Really cool. So that's pretty much it. I think this pack speaks for itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, just like it. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.